laptop, learning management system can be open using your mobile phone. Just follow the steps to use your LMS in mobile platforms. The first thing you need to do is download or install Moodle app. You can download the application in Google Play for Android and App Store for iOS. To know more about the mobile app, visit https colon slash slash download that moodle that org slash mobile for this video we use android phones as a sample first open google play and search for moodle app next install the moodle application once you have downloaded the application you can now open your moodle within your site tap and type the url https colon double slash iclass.pcbzambales.com Then, tap the connect or connect to your site. To add your account, enter the username and password given by the school administrator. Be sure to type the correct username and password. To sign in, enter the username and password given by the school administrator and tap login. After signing in, you will be directed to the site home. This section shows the available courses, site announcement, latest news, latest news and tags. The Moodle app also have calendar that will tag the dates of events in your subjects. The calendar will have red marks if there are upcoming events. For the messages, this will show the contacts, online users, group, and private contacts. Within the notifications, this section posts the upcoming events or latest events such as assignments and quizzes. For the dashboard, this area shows the course content for the semester. For the course overview, this section shows all your enrolled courses or subjects. These courses or subjects are color-coded for easy identification. Within the upcoming events, this shows all upcoming events in your subjects. Example, upcoming quiz, assignment, discussion, or feedback. The online users area shows all the users that are active or connected. To proceed on your subject, tap on the subject or module. For this video, we have an example entitled PCB Online Class Using Browser Slash Mobile Platform. The course or subject have different areas. Contents where it contains the enrolled subjects. Click Contents to view the course or subject. Participants. This shows the enrolled users, especially those are online. All online users can chat other users by pressing the chat button. The Grades area shows the graded activities of the students. For the course overview, this page shows all the lessons or modules per subject. In viewing a module, Tap the module title. For this video, we have sample course module. Tap open the file to open the uploaded file. Use your mobile apps to view or open your module. Examples are WPS Reader and PDF Reader. Just like in laptops, Moodle in mobile phones can give activities like quizzes. Most of the quizzes has a time limit given by the teacher. When the time given by the teacher is done, the quiz will be automatically submitted whether the student is finished or not finished with the quiz. When you go to the quiz, the page for the quiz preview will appear. To start the quiz, click the attempt quiz now button. To fill in your answer, click on the button under the question, answer every question given by the teacher. The questions will appear one by one. 
The type of quiz can be multiple choice, true or false, identification, matching type, essay, and others. To proceed to the next question, tap next. To go back to the previous question, tap previous. You can clear your answer by tapping the clear my choice button. After answering all the questions, it will show the summary of the quiz. If you want to change your answer, click Return to Attempt button. To submit your quiz, tap Submit All and Finish. A confirmation will appear. Shows once you submit, you will no longer be able to change your answer for this attempt. Moodle has a review of attempt. This section shows the summary of the quizzes, or quiz. Once the quiz is submitted, you will not be able to take it again. Make sure to answer and take the quiz at the given time or schedule. Within the summary of previous attempts, this will show the date and time the students submitted the quiz. In the assignment section, student can take the assignment given by the instructor within a period of time. The student can check the submission status, grading status, due date, time remaining, last modified, and submission comments. To add your assignment, tap Add Submission or Edit Submission. The student can answer the assignment using the online text or file submission section. Online text submission, wherein the student can write the answer in the text field. For the file submission, the student can upload a file with a maximum file size of 20 MB. Example file types are .doc and .pdf. In adding a file to the assignment, tap plus sign Add file and then select the file by tapping file and find the file that you want to upload. Locate and select your file on your phone or storage. Preferred format is .pdf. Tap save button in the upper right corner to submit the assignment. A message alert will appear. Tap OK to submit the assignment. Assignment overview shows if the student's assignment is all set. Edit submission or remove submission of the assignment can be done if there are still remaining time before the deadline. For the discussions, this will be posted and will be viewed by the students. Their response will serve as their recitation. To post a reply, tap the discussion. Posting a reply will include the name of the student, date, and time. The student can add more comments by clicking the reply button. The students can also reply to other comments by clicking the reply button. For the feedback, the teacher can give feedback to answer the questions about the lesson. The preview area shows the preview of the feedback, comments, and suggestions. You can choose a mode for feedback. There is anonymous. The student can answer the feedback without typing their names and remain anonymous. This can only be done in surveys. To answer the questions, tap the Answer the Question button. The student can give responses to the feedback given by the teacher. Answering the feedback, 
Just tap the text box to answer the question. Tap Submit Your Answer button to submit the answers to the teacher. Note, fill in the fields with red marks. After Submission After clicking the Submit Your Answer button, a message will appear. Within the feedback, if the student will view again the feedback, you've already completed this activity will appear, and the student can no longer add a comment or feedback. The Moodle also have available options for subject tutorial. This is another learning resources given by the teacher. It can be a video or file. The student can view or watch the tutorial. Take note, the teacher usually use YouTube as learning resources. Thus, PCP instructors and teachers also prepares online educational resources or OERS. For more details, visit iclass.pcbzambales.com.